we are preparing for Hurricane Dorian. And um, it's interesting. We're not worried or scared at all. But hurricanes are just a very emotional event. A few nights before Hurricane Dorian was supposed to hit South Florida, we took the dinghy out for one last ride to see the sunset before we had to pull it in for the hurricane. This night, Caleb really wanted to go see some of the mangroves, so we were going to go to those islands out there and go snorkel around the mangroves. However, on our way out there, Chris noticed some dolphins following us. They were very curious and they began to swim around. As soon as we saw the dolphins, we cut the engine and we sat and just watched them. Chris was quick to jump in that water and the boys were not far behind. This is better than any excursion we could have ever asked for. The dolphins swim right up to us in our dinghy right in the wild. This is exactly what we were hoping for when we left suburbia. This was an amazing sight to get to see dolphins. I thought we would just be going out in the ocean and just going somewhere. And those dolphins look like three little brothers that fight, just like us three. Ooh, look at that. Did you see them jump? <laughs> I got that. <laughs> yeah. no. They're fighting just like you guys fight. They must be brothers. Oh my gosh. Dad, you going in again? Where are they? <laughs> right behind you. <laughs> So we've uh, got some water in the boat just from this morning, just the rain shower. So we're sure we're going to get a lot more rain over the next couple of days with the hurricane passing probably to our north. So we're going to take this part, uh, put it inside of our, our condo unit that we're in right now. And uh, while it's inside, we'll let the boys clean it while we're uh, hunkered down for the storm. As South Florida prepared for Hurricane Dorian, the gas stations were filled with people wanting to fill their tanks before it hit. Where are we at, Mama? We're at Lazy Days eating lunch by ourselves. This is Sunday, the 1st of September. And Hurricane is still a day or two away but the island is basically a ghost town because everybody's left. That's our view for lunch. Sunday afternoon about 5.30 is just now starting to sprinkle, get some outer bands of that storm. And our marina is what they call a king tide. So it's very, very high. It's higher than a high tide. It's about a foot higher than normal. Yeah, even if it turns and goes north, we're still gonna get outer bands. Uh, our first round of rain for the outer band is predicted to hit us at uh, eight o'clock tonight. That's in about three hours. So we're pretty prepared. The boat's on the hard. The dinghy's in the hard inside our house. We've got our extra food and water and all the supplies. We're feeling pretty good. Yeah. Um, our storage unit is, if, if Key Largo floods, it will flood. So sure. we're heading there right now to grab what we feel like we do not want uh, to live. Here is our 
our storage unit and it is already getting water and we haven't even had a storm surge yet. So, glad we're grabbing stuff. So this is our storage unit and we haven't even had like a major storm surge yet and it's already like across from us they're getting water. So we're just, we don't have much, but we just want to grab a couple things. We are sweaty and full. It's not bad. Um, maybe about 20% of the stuff we took. Yeah. It's Labor Day, Monday morning. We're seeing high tides. We're seeing a little breeze, but still here in South Florida, there's just not a lot happening yet. It has stalled over the Bahamas completely. It's moving one mile an hour, so it's going to hit Florida in another day or two. It's just going so slow. The water is even higher than before. You can see it's like touching the dock now. It's usually like three feet below. We are driving south down the Keys on Highway 1. And there is nobody here with us for a holiday weekend. Almost all these condos have these storm shutters up. This ramp is pretty high too. We were just here the other day with our dinghy getting the water out of our dinghy pulling it up on the ramp and it's a good maybe one two feet high right now and we haven't had any big storms. Start. But this is the first time in like three or four days that we have not seen someone pulling out of the water. Got all the chairs tied up. So we're gonna go up to the rooftop to watch the storm roll in and they have it actually locked because they don't want anybody to go up there at all. This is the area blocked off for swimmers. It's generally very calm and smooth and you can see straight to the bottom all the way up. Um, just the other day we were here and it was perfectly beautiful and calm. They pulled in the dock, the swimming dock. That's an abandoned sailboat. And it's been just there the whole time, abandoned and empty. If anyone wants to come and grab that, I'm sure you can just cut, cut rope and take it. So it looks like this is gonna be the extent of our storm here. I think this is about as hard hit as we're gonna get hit here down in the Keys. Nothing, nothing life-threatening, just very uncomfortable if you're on a boat. Um, you can see that boat over there rocking. You can hear the wind. It's probably a good 15, 20 miles an hour. That's probably, uh, probably all you can hear is the wind. But anyway. It is Monday night. The water is still high. We have not had rain all day long. It just started sprinkling just a little bit. We've had some wind, but no rain. So I guess the hurricane has stalled out over the Bahamas. It's had zero movement in the last five hours. So it just really hasn't hit Florida much. We've got some bands of just wind and some clouds, but nothing too heavy. So it's been a week since we started preparing for Hurricane Dorian and it never hit us. I believe right now it's somewhere in the Carolinas still hasn't made landfall. Completely destroyed the Bahamas, but missed us all together. I think we got a day where we had a one or two rain showers pass through and a couple days of some elevated winds, but that was it. So we really wish that we could just go over to the Bahamas and help. That's one of the things we want to do as we travel around on our boat is to be able to just respond to these types of situations. But unfortunately, our boat is just not ready yet. So we made some donations to some folks that are going over there locally. And uh, hopefully next time something like this occurs, uh, we'll be the ones on the front lines to uh, show up right after the storm and help out. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe and hit that like bell and notification. Bye. Make sure you subscribe.